al fin toma color Vida al palo Welcome from the home of the New York Mets, City Field in Queens. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Okay, all set to go. And at the play for Miami, Xavier Edwards. And he deals. And a foul ball. And a ball and two strikes. Winker on a dead sprint. Can't get there. This one lands foul. Got him. One out in the top of the first. So up next, Jake Berger. The line of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. One down, base is empty. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. pitch up the middle Lindor gets it to first two away here in the top of the first two out space is empty and now the DH Jonah Bride swings through the fastball up in the zone one ball two out space is empty next offering is down low it's a good take two Two strike. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Two outs. Three and two. Hard hit on the line. Martinez right there to make the grab. And that'll do it. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's Francisco Lindor. Not your job. Well, here's a game Lindor will never forget. One night in July of 2023, he went five for five with a home run, two triples, and he scored three runs. That stat line is so rare. Only one other player. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the game. other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now it's Mark Vientos. There's the strike up high. Going to count one and two. Ground ball to the right side. And foul ball. And a pitch. Swings through it for the K. And the runner holds. That is good. The designated hitter. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. 1-1 one, one now. And it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Man at first, one away. Oh, right to the backstop. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. And the righty deals. Three, that one way outside. Three and two now. That's a hit. Headed for the plate. The throw in. He's safe. Well, 
to strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Didn't try to do too much with it, just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you get a short... Oh, now this is blasted! Way back there, on its way! Gone! He sends it out of here. His 13th home run of the season, it's 3-0. Here's Pete Alonso. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two, two strikes. Balls, two strikes. Still only one out here in the inning. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. Here's Jesse Winker. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just going to turn the page and go after this next guy. Now, here is Francisco Alvarez. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. Second inning Leading set to go. Ball. And now the right fielder, the right Jesus, Sanchez. Jesus Sanchez. Here's a 1 1. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Man, at first, here's the center fielder, Derek Hill. And it's fouled away. And the right-hander deals. On the ground, a short could be two. Off-balance feed, there's one. Over to first, okay. safe. And up next That's for Miami, Otto Lopez. Otto. Hill leads off first with one away. And that's off the inside edge. And it's two and one. That's the outside corner with that one. Righty delivers. Got him swinging. Emmanuel Rivera, the next up for the Marlins. Rivera. This one high in the air to left center. Martinez sizes this one up, makes the catch inning over. Bottom half of inning number two. Jeff McNeil stands in. The wind of the pitch. That one not close. And yeah, that's ball two. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's okay. Oh, now a great stop, and that's a great play for the out. Batting number, the center fielder, Harrison. Bader. And now Bader up to the plate. Swing and a miss. And it's one, one and ball, two. Two strike. Bouncer to second. Lopez tosses to first. Already two out here in the whole half of inning number two. Francisco Lindor to the plate. Now fans love him, but he's pretty popular with the players, too. He certainly is, Boog. A player survey on MLB.com listed him as one of the friendliest infielders to chat with during a game. 
I'm sure he appreciates the recognition from his peers. Next pitch misses way outside. Swing and a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Now Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Now here is Mark Vientos. Out to center. Hill gets under it. Corrals it. And the inning is over. Here at City Field, here's the left fielder, David Hensley. David Hensley. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One ball. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. The pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And a one-two again. Fouls it back with two strikes. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. And here's the catcher. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. And now for the Marlins, Xavier Edwards. The wind and the pitch. This ball's chopped on the ground. Tossed to He's Alonzo. Marlin set down in order. Back here in Queens as we go to the last of the third. So now here's the Mets DH, Brandon Nimmo. That one missed for Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Lopez. Off balance oh. throw in time. One gone oh, bottom of the third bad. inning. No now J.D. Martinez at the plate. Martinez. And a pitch. Three. Set down on strikes. He's got to be frustrated with that call. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. And a good eye there. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Kicks and deals. Ground ball up the middle. Gathers and throws to first. And that takes care of Alonzo. Three up, three down, inning over. And we're back as we go to the top of the fourth. And now Jake Berger. Love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced Old Shea Stadium back in 2009. And Chipper Jones was really sad to see it go. It's actually the third home of the Mets since they started out at the Polo Grounds for two seasons before Shea was finished. 
And he walked him. That's up there. Well, he tried to Ball nibble four. right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't off offer at it. Now he has the somebody to worry about over at first. Jonah. So man wow. aboard. Jonah Bride, the next up for the Marlins. Here comes a pitch. 3-2 hey. now. He's pitching well, but not throwing a okay. ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Got it by him for the K. Now it's the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Hey, dude. Left hand batter waits. Ball inside. That's inside. The fish trailing by three. Top half of inning number four. Well hit the other way. That one going back and foul. Two two now. I got three and two. On the ground could be two. Lindor off balance feed. There's one double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Bottom four, and stepping in for New York, Jesse Winker. Kicks and fires. He swings and hits a fly ball center field. And Winker is set down. One up, one down. Here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Swing and a miss. And it's one, one and two. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. That's a ball. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. That's now the second out. Second Two outs, base is empty. So up next for New York, Jeff McNeil. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Back here at City Field, digging in, Derek Hill. Swings through that one out in front that time. One ball, two straight. Up ball and two. in, two and two. But why to kick the pitch? And they'll do it again. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and now one away. The Here's the second baseman, Otto, Otto Lopez. Lopez. One down, base is empty. Oh. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the oh, plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Bounce to the left side, Vientos. Two up, two down. down. Two out, space is empty. Up, up, up. Emmanuel Marlins. Rivera, the, the next season. up for the Marlins. Emmanuel the Marlins Rivera. trailing by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing yeah. and a miss. That is strike two. Look at Sharp ball. just to strike two away strike. from five shutout innings. Nope. Just Outside. missed. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. A new arm into the game. The righty, number 92. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. And now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. The center Right handed reliever. Fouled off left side. Oh. 
Wouldn't Ball chase two. that time. And there's a ball. Count. That one ripped. Base hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage okay. count. Showed a willingness to drive that That's pitch the not opposite not. way. Right, didn't right. get jumpy, yeah. didn't try to pull the ball. Vader rolls. Now this is in the air down the line. Sanchez gets under it. Looks it away for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to now really drive it. Third Mark Vientos up now for the Mets. Vientos. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Payoff pitch. Three. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. And at first, Brandon Nimmo getting ready to hit. Nimmo. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. At the belt and fires. And Whoa, delivers outside. Out. Bader leads off first with two down to the inning. Bounce to third. Zips it across. Inning over. the sixth inning now the left fielder David Hensley the pitch comes up empty that's strike two it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today good fastball excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there that one missing inside In the air, right field. Fair ball. Recognize the break on that pitch early, and that allowed him to keep his front shoulder in. You know, it's easy to bail on those front door breaking balls, but a great job right there of letting it travel, then unloading a nice balance swing. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Sets him down looking. Fastball at the letters, frozen for strike three. So the batting order turns over, and here is Xavier Edwards. The Mets leading by three, and we're in the top half of the sixth. The shortstop takes a ball. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Out. Goes to second for one. Oh, to first, there. not in time. Great effort there. Now that So digging in, Jake, Jake Berger. Jake Berger. Hammer down the right side, but foul. The pitch. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here is J.D. Martinez. The line of the pitch. Just missed.
outside, and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And downstairs. Well, these Mets putting together Bring some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that approach. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Roll to short, could be two. Edwards. One at second. Yeah, but out. safe at first, Be it's sure. a fielder's choice. Man at first, and the batter now, Francisco the batter. Alvarez. Look at Winker oh, off the first with two away. Alvarez. And that skips in there. That, that ball one three. misses, and now three and one. Two outs. Hey. Three, two, two out, okay. run on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Bounced up the middle. Edwards throws to first. That's the inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Reed Garrett. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Now it's the DH, Jonah Bride. Jonah Bride. Ball to strike. Pulls it in, and there's one away. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball popped up. McNeil makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now it's going to be Derek Hill. And a pitch. And it is two and one. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Stays alive. Two two on the way. And another ball. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Brett DeGus. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And now here's Jeff Leading McNeil. Up, the, men. the second baseman. Yeah. And he deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. and misses it's a strikeout here's the center fielder Harrison Bader hey. next offering is in for a strike and a foul ball he stays alive base is empty one away here at the bottom of the seventh 
Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Now So the lineup flips over. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Here's a 1 1. He swings and fouls one off. That's Ball. down and in. That's a laser base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now at the plate, Mark Vientos. Lindor on the move. On the ground to third. In plenty of time to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Start the eighth. Adam Adovino. He last pitched two days ago. Adovino. And now it's going to be Otto Lopez. The second base. Otto Lopez. And the right hander deals. Now he breaks his bat. On the run, sends it oh. over to first, and that's one away as the leadoff man is the out in the eighth. Emmanuel Rivera. Rivera. In the air, out to center. Bader should have it. Makes the catch for the out, and there's two away. Two outs, bases empty, and at the plate for Miami, David Hensley. That one fouled off. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. That one missed. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Andrew Nardi. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Three, four, five, do up for the home team. And now the Mets DH, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. The lefty fires. And he goes down looking. Here is J.D. Martinez. No left field. J.D. Martinez. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses, struck him out. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. Alonso. And he's winning to miss. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. Two balls. Two, Two down, nobody on. Fights it off, you'll see another. Gets a piece and stays alive. Got him looking. And the Mets go one, two, three.
number 39, Edward. Here in Queens, all set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the Marlins catcher, number 47. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Pitch misses, and it's two and two. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Up next, Xavier Edwards, the next the up for the Marlins. Xavier Edwards. Pitches in there. Three and two now. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. So they're down to their final out. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. Hit to right, and that should do it. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. This is just a nice win. Three-nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you scored, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching. Timely hitting really made the difference.